Welcome back, everyone. Are you staying cool? I hope so. It's a good thing that we're staying inside, because this campfire would be way too hot outside, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's way too hot out for a campfire, so it's good we can pretend. And actually, when I started setting up my camera and all those lights, it was thundering and lightning outside. It'd be too wet for a campfire then. Well, today we're going to be learning about something called the Golden Rule. Has anyone heard of the Golden Rule? No, not the Golden Ruler. The Golden Rule. Does anyone know what that phrase means? It's kind of a fancy way of saying, treat others the way you want to be treated. We're going to be learning a couple different ways how we can do that this week. We're going to be doing it through something in the Bible and the story. Do you guys all bring your Bibles with you? If not, take a buddy and run back to your cabin and bring your Bibles. I'll see you guys in a second. Awesome, you guys are back. Well, we're gonna start with a story. This is not from the Bible. It's called The New Animal by Diane Boone. A new animal was coming to live in the zoo. The other animals were excited. One morning, a big truck backed up to the empty cage and out stepped the new animal. The zookeeper hung a sign outside the cage that said, So make it. The other animals stared in amazement. The so make it did not look like any other animal they had ever seen. He had a long neck and a long tail. And when he opened his mouth, he barked. One by one, the other animals turned away from the cage because the Zalmegid was so different and they were not sure how to treat him. The Zalmegid grew very lonely. The animals ignored him, so he had no one to talk to. He was so sad that he didn't eat. The zookeeper began to worry. People stopped visiting the zoo because the new animal was sad. The other animals hid in the back of the cages. One day, the elephant heard the Zalmigid barking inside this to himself. Now, the Zalmigid does have a good trunk, he told the giraffe. It's not as long as mine, but it's really quite nice. The giraffe stretched his neck to take a closer look. Look at his strong neck. He can reach as high as I can. The lion was looking quietly at the new animal's mane. My goodness, he has an excellent mane, almost as thick as mine. Just then the zebra trotted by the cage. His coat has a very nice pattern, she said. And his horns are curved just right, said the apex, just like mine. When the monkey came swinging from the trees, he said, Look at that handsome tail. I wonder if this Almigid would like to play tag. Violet Duck came waddling by. What fine feet you have, she said. You can probably swim faster than I can. Does Almigid stop crying and thank the duck for the compliment? Soon all the animals were talking together. They felt much happier. Even though this Almigid looked different, the other animals had found something about the new animal that they liked. The end. So what happened in this story? Yeah, the new animal came to the zoo. Did the animals like him at first? No, he was, they were scared. They treated him differently. He didn't look like them. He didn't come from places like them. So they ignored him. That made him sad, didn't it? Then what happened? Yeah, one by one, the animals noticed something they liked about the animal. It might have been his long tail like the giraffe. Or his really fast feet like the duck. Or his really impressive mane like the lion. So they started treating him nice. And then they were all happy. So we should always treat others the way we want to be treated. Because then they're happy, and then we're happy. 
Well, do you think the Bible has anything to say about that? It does, so you're right. Well, we're going to do something called a sword drill. Have you guys ever heard of something called a sword drill? It's kind of like a game. We lift our Bibles high up in the air, then we're going to say a Bible verse, and then we're going to say, ready, set, go, and whoever finds the Bible verse first wins. So that's work great if you're with your family, or with your brothers and sisters, or even your friends. And this is something we can do in Sunday school when we get back in the fall, hopefully. Because that would be great to see each other, wouldn't it? Because this is one of the games we played at camp when I went to. In fact, my mom brings Jolly Ranchers for the kids. They're your ages. And when they get the Bible verse right, they get a Jolly Rancher. So maybe we can do that later in the fall, huh? Sounds like fun. So, let's see if the Bible has anything to say about the Golden Rule. I already had the Bibles up. Now, I'm going to be reading it from the screen because it will be faster for the video. But on the count of one, uh, when I say, when I say go, we'll open it to the Bible verse, okay? So the first one is Luke 6, 31. Ready, set, go. I see a hand. Good job. It says, do to others as you would like them to do to you. Does that sound like the golden rule? It's exactly like the golden rule, doesn't it? I'm going to read another one. And all these are going to be from the New Testament except for one. So it's from Ephesians 4, 32. Does everybody have their Bibles up? Ready, set, go! I see a hand over there. Good job. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgiving each other just as Christ, God, forgave you. So God follows the golden rule too. He forgives us just like, and we forgive each other just like God forgave us and Jesus forgave us. That's pretty cool. That goes up. First John 4, 7 through 11. Ready, set, go. I see a hand. Dear friends, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. This kind of ties in what we talked about last week. We're supposed to love one another. And why are we supposed to love one another? Because then they'll love us back. The golden rule. Faith Bible's up. John 13, 34 through 35. Ready, set, go. I see a hand. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So once again, loving each other. Not only do we love each other, but people know we're Christians because we show our love. We're showing them the golden rule. That's pretty cool. Yeah, two more. Now this is the one that's from the new, or the Old Testament rather. So it's going to be the front of your Bibles. Everyone have Bibles up. Micah 6, 8. Ready, set, go. Let me see happy hand all the way in the back. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, it's a memory verse for the Bible. It kind of talks about doing uh, one rule as well, doesn't it? Okay, one last one. Everybody's Bible's up. So it's 1 Peter 3, 8 to 9. Ready, set, go. 
I see a hand. Finally, all of you would be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because to this we are called so that you may inherit a blessing. Another one about the golden rule. There is so many in the Bible about the golden rule, it takes us forever to get through it. So the Bible does tell us we should love each other. We should treat others the way we want to be treated. Now, does this happen in the world all the time? No. There's two big ones right now, and they're showing people that aren't loving each other. Should we love people that have different color eyes than we? Yeah. Should we treat them any different? No. How about if they have different color hair? What if it's orange, pink, and purple? That'd be kind of cool. But we shouldn't treat them any different, should we? How about the color of their skin? Should we treat them any different? No, we shouldn't. We should love them. Because if we treat them bad, if we follow the golden rule, that means they're treating us bad. That's not how it should work, should it? No, we should show everyone love, and they'll love us back, or hopefully they will. But we gotta show this light, like we learned about last week, or last month, and then they'll know we're loved, and that we are, are Christians. How about when people make fun of people for wearing masks? That's not very nice, is it? No. In fact, church wants to be neighbors to everybody, and to have everybody love each other. That's why we're wearing masks, we're being nice to each other. We're not making fun of people who are making masks, are we? No, we're showing love to each other and then just treating them like the way we want to be treated. So you want to be safe, you want them to be safe. That's the golden rule, isn't it? Wearing masks can be like the golden rule. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, this week, I want you to think about ways they can be a better neighbor what ways you can show the golden rule. And one of those ways I want you to do is to pick your favorite verse we've read, or maybe another one about being a good neighbor and uh, the golden rule, but put that in the bottom of the sheet. And then I want you to draw or illustrate this amigid. You can go back and read, hear the story to figure out what he looks like or what you think he looks like. Now, do you have to use a pencil? No. Do you have to use crayons? No. Can you use paint? Sure. Can you use sand? Awesome. Can you use finger jello? I would really like to see that. If you guys can draw and still make it with finger jello, I'd like to see that. Can you use computer? Of course. There's all different ways to draw and illustrate and show things what we think it looks like, isn't there? So remember, draw this on Megan, put your favorite Bible verse on the bottom that we learned about um, showing love or being good neighbor or uh, uh, the golden rule. Maybe you can even put the golden rule on the top. And then if your parents give you permission, you can show it on our church Facebook page. It'd be a good way to tell others about God, huh? And adults, if you want to do this too, that are watching, cool. And kids, I'll have mine up late, later. You can see how I think this Omega looks. It would be all cool to see how we think other people see this new animal. And we'll be showing love to the new animal. We're treating the animal like we want it to be treated. Just like we should treat others the way we should be treated. That's the golden rule in a nutshell. All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for teaching us that we are to love everyone. Help us treat others that we want to be treated by the ways we want to be treated. Thank you for stories in scripture that help us remind us of that too. Help us learning about stories about us Megan and that he maybe look different. We should love him all the same. Help us this coming week be a difference maker. Amen. Right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stay cool.